welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to the first new member uh, Q&A via Zoom of 2024. Um, Yep, we do this twice a month. Um, I'm Betsy Ko, uh, and with me uh, co-hosting tonight is Steve Greenwood. Uh, we're both in the Midwest, and um, I'm just so happy to see, um, as we were chatting before we uh, started, um, that there are you know some people who are brand brand new to WikiTree, and um, I it wasn't that long ago for me, really. Um, I I. I'm about four years into my time at Wikitree, and I still remember, um, you know, trying to figure things out. And uh, luckily, there are just so many people who are helpful and willing to answer questions. And um, so that that is one huge reason why I wanted to get back and and do these sessions. Um, I am a, a teacher outside of my my time in on Wikitree. I'm a music teacher. So um, teaching is um, sort of in my blood and brain. So it, um, you know, I wanted to give those skills um, to the Wikitree community as well. Um, my my time on Wikitree, I spend it um, in a couple of projects. I'm in the England project, uh, the uh, Scotland, Wales, Canada. Those are my geographical projects. Um, I'm also a mentor which means that uh, I um, work with people one-on-one -on -one who need uh, short-term assistance um, of a slight, you know, a little more in-depth than, than what we'll do here tonight. Um, and I, I'm uh, one of the events committee members. So I help to run things like, uh, if you've been hearing a lot of buzz about Connectathon coming up, um, you know, I, I help with things like that. Um, and I'm on the Saturday Roundup Livecast. So anytime you are looking for something to do at 10, uh, 10 in the morning Eastern, uh, you can um, tune in on YouTube and, and hear about what's going on on Wikitree that week. Um, Steve, you want to oh, say who? My turn? <laughs> yeah, your turn. Well, you, you've been here slightly longer than me. I've only been on Wikitree since uh, 2020. I'm going to enter another person from the waiting room here. Um uh, I actually have a lot of wiki experience. You'll notice that we use that word a lot around here. A wiki is any kind of uh, program, you know, in this case, an online program that you can edit. Uh, other people can collaborate with you on different projects. Uh, I founded a couple of wikis in the 2000s, so I, I have a little bit of experience with wiki, you know, with that form of uh, a program before coming on to WikiTree. So so I had a little bit of a head start, but you know, there's always a new thing to get used to when you have a different layout and format. Um, but the WikiTree community, again, like uh, Betsy was saying, is incredibly helpful. There's always someone available. Uh, that is the real strength of this project is that, you know, the community is active and you can, you know, always find an answer someone's willing to help out. Um, and I also contribute predominantly to Germany Project and Notables Project. And I have a, a couple of space pages. I, I work on some one place studies and some one name studies. Um, and I'm just pretty much all over the place. And, and I'm also a member of the events committee as well with Betsy. So we do some uh, cooking up of some great ideas in the background for you guys to have some fun. So that's my yeah. spiel. And, and there is a lot going on. There's, I mean, continuing things from pre previous years, but also some really exciting new. Um, activities going on. Um, we had a question uh, in the chat about what is Connectathon, and I think that's that's a great great place to start. Um, so, um, Steve, how many thons have you done <laughs> successfully? <laughs> I'm lucky if I get a handful of uh, profiles in a given Connectathon because I'm just. I'm either not as productive as other people because I'm a completist and I like to fill in one profile very well. So my mm -hmm. numbers tend to be in like the 20s, the 30s. Mm -hmm. But I, I say I probably contributed to about, you know, maybe five or six various thons now since we started, mm -hmm. since I started. Yeah. But, you know, a mixture of connect-a-thon, source-a-thon, wiki games, uh, and, any of those. Oh, the um, wiki tree challenge. I did contribute to a couple of those. Mm -hmm. through some of the celebrities that we had and and then i got to host my own wiki tree challenge so that was cool last year <laughs> i remember well yeah. um so what we have um 
we have these things called thons and there's four of them a year. Three of them are all about connecting. And then the, the fourth one is all about sourcing. So if uh, I'm just going to use my own profile as an example, um, if you look at your profile up at the top, it's going to tell you how many contributions you've made, uh, your thank yous, and then you have this number here, your connections. Wow, 700. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I, you know, I did that um, as a New Year's, like that was my goal. I, I wanted to, st I was so close at the end of the year that I thought I just have to push to, to start mm -hmm. 24 with 700. So, so you did do it to I push did. it up to 700? I did. I Great did. job. So um, the Connectathon, um, we have people who are organized on teams. Um, and some of these are geographically based. Like for instance, um, Steve, you, you're going to be on the Germany Genies, right? Mm -hmm. right? Right. Even though I don't physically live in Germany, I contribute enough in German project that, yeah, yeah I'm joining them. Um, we have the French fries, the Canadian. What? Yes, they're they're is that a new team name? <laughs> yes, I love it. Um, Canadian connectors. Um, there's an Italian team, um, and then we and we have an Appalachia Roots team. Um, and there are some um, teams that are um, you know you really can work on profiles from any area of the world. Um, we have the toddling tortoises. Um, you know, if you feel like you you don't want to be real competitive about things, that's a very good team to be on. Um, I'm going to be on the globe trotter team this, this, oh, good. yeah. Is that so, covering the other countries that are part of global project now? Yeah. I, I mean, it's just basically gives you license to be anywhere in the world. It's, it's all right. A global team. So the the purpose, the goal in Connectathon is to go to any existing profile. Um and let let's see, if I went to um let me go to my That's brain. my name. <laughs> well, well, okay, yes, that's true. You know, big big mystery there. No one knows why she was given Greenwood as a middle name. Oh, as a middle name. As a middle name, yeah. Well, then was her mother potentially a Greenwood? Nope, nope. No, because nope. no, it, it says Ratnor Mency. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I know. So I'll let you, I, you would have a vested interest in when I get the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, I, I definitely would. Hit me up when you're discussing. Um, I, I want to look at, um, this is my great uncle. And I happen to know that, uh, as you can see, um, well, um, we do have his marriage here, but he has two children that I have yet to add. And honestly, I'm having a little bit of difficulty. I'm surprised how much difficulty I am finding the sources I need to add these two sons. But Are they deceased or are they still living? They, they're both deceased, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'll just dig, well, I'll dig harder. Um, but... Um, but if I were to add these during the connectathon, I would get a point for each each uh, connection that I make to an existing profile. So um, you can build up, down, sideways, um, but it has to be connecting to an existing profile. Um, and if you do want to uh, connectathon. Oh. I'm just going to see if I can give everybody. If you need the dashes in it. I think for the G2G. Yep. Have you registered? Yes. Um, so this is going to run. It starts a 72 hour event and it starts um, Friday um, at 8 a.m. January 19th. And it goes until Monday, 8 a.m. Um, and there are live casts every four hours um, to just cheer people on and give some research uh, hints and, you know, just hangouts. Um, so I'm going to put put this in the chat. And note that registration will close at midnight Eastern on Wednesday the 17th. Mm -hmm. So you have up until two days before the event starts to still be a part of the event and pick a team that you want to contribute with. Yeah, and actually, if you don't know what 
what uh, what team you want to be on. That's okay. Just in your in your answer, just to enter answer generally, and say um, you know, I I tend to research in this area, and and we'll make some suggestions. So oh, Germany genies can always use some extra help. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Yeah. Let me let me ask a question. Sure. I mean, just because you uh, sign up for German genies doesn't mean that your connections all have to be German. No, Isn't you don't right? have to contribute to predominantly German profiles. We emphasize it because that's predominantly our ancestry and and our background. A lot of people live in mm -hmm. Germany, so that's just you know where they are. But you can work on any profile on the the World Tree. If it interests you and you connect it, you get a point for it. It doesn't matter if it's German or not. It could be, you know, somebody from New Zealand. Um, so that's not a restriction. Right. It's just that you have, you know, several family members that have migrated to the United States. Right. And they're, you know, adding them doesn't constitute German. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get rabbit hole a lot. Of the word. Yeah, I might have an initial idea of what I want to work on, and then I get down a rabbit hole, and I just find, oh, I really want to do this, and then I just like fix, I'm stuck on it because I want to get it done, you know, or I'm in a pattern, I'm in a nice little flow. So sometimes it just happens, like you you might prepare for something, and then you end up somewhere completely different, you know, and it could be the best thing ever because then you didn't know about this, you know, we're always learning as we're building out the tree. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you, you just never know. Uh, what I actually do though is before these events, I have a whole bunch of personal categories I've set up uh, for people that need profiles added. So like they don't have their parents attached, uh, but you can tell who their parents are in the biography. So that's just something I have to confirm when I make those profiles, you know, children, uh, marriages, and, and all of those are separated by category. So that's gonna hopefully speed up the process for me when I get into Connectathon, because then I can just follow the leads that I've been working on all year. So, yeah, yeah. So, some people, um, I honestly, I, I rarely have time to prep, but I know that some people, you know, take a good few weeks coming up to a thon and like get themselves ready with, you know, so that they can just punch out those profiles. And, um, yeah, that's because you'll see people who will make a thousand connections, um, which always is a and, and there are some questions in the chat, which probably answer yeah. so yeah. and ask you know how many can you join and uh, if we're asking about teams you know it's just one team is, is that what you're asking about mm -hmm. okay yeah right yeah okay and then julie had a question here saying that uh family documentation history for three or four branches go back to early america uh what should i have in WikiTree to show the information is valid uh should i hold off in creating profiles until i have the docs to back it up like census records marriage licenses etc um so you could add profiles tentatively if you have personal information and if you want to go back later and fill in the gaps with your cited sort you know your citations uh, you could still do that you know so we're not going to completely ban you from adding things but the preference is that you do have a valid source attached to the profile you know so it can exist and be worked on um, um julie let me ask you a question are these uh, individuals before 1700 that's another thing. Oops. You're, you're yeah. muted at the moment. There. I I would have to get them all out and see. I just didn't right. want to start putting in a bunch of information. I'd like to, to get it electronic. I had a lot in Ancestry.com, mm -hmm. and I just am moving away from that because I like the cleanliness of this where there's one profile for one yeah. person ever. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I'm sure when I go through this process, I'm going to be hit with a whole bunch of you got to merge, you got to merge, mm. because I do have a couple that I've entered and I just uh, had to merge. And it, yeah. it is there an easier way to get started for somebody like me than what I'm thinking I need to do? <laughs> well, when, first of all, just to, to go back to um, your question about what do you need to create a profile? Um, you, you definitely have to have a little legwork done in advance. Um, I, I try and go in with the birth date and place the death date. And yeah. Date. And, and that'll control that. what's, that, mm -hmm. that's going to control the search. So if you don't give enough information for birth date and death date, it won't find uh, another profile out there that matches it if it does exist. So 
you're mm -hmm. looking at people from the 1700s or 1800s, there's a good chance that one of your cousins has already added that person. So you don't have to right. necessarily recreate it. But if you have another person that was a child, you can connect them into that existing profile. So that saves you the mm -hmm. hassle of having to merge. Did that make sense? But I have to get, I do I need to get their permission to add that profile or no? It's just there. And uh, if yep. it's an open that one looks profile, right, I think. Yeah. yeah, if it's an open profile, which has the, the white open lock, that means the person's been deceased for so long uh, that anybody can make contributions. So you don't have to ask permission for it. Okay. Uh, if there's one that's highlighted in yellow, that there's a profile manager looking over it, you may have to approve those changes before it connects. Uh, okay. You know, depending on the, the privacy of the profile. But, yeah, but I just, I can make quick work of it if I don't have to wait on a bunch of approvals. So that's good to know. Right. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, and, and we, you do need, in addition to the birth and death dates and places, you need one source. Um, and uh, so, you know, I always make sure that I have that one source because they, they right. ask me to enter it at profile yeah. creation. Um, yeah. And I have a ton of source docs in ancestry and that's a dilemma for me i'm gonna to have to sign back up so i can download them i i don't know no, how to get no. those sources okay. so here's what we can show sourcer um steve okay. could, you, could you get the um the url for the whole help page for sourcer uh yeah the, we're talking about the wiki tree sourcer, sourcer. so what this is it's a it's an it's a it. browser extension and uh, so it will, let, let me go back to screen. Oh. <laughs> I got to go search it. <laughs> okay. This can be a little cumbersome to find the page you're looking for. So, oh, I can't do it I now because you went you to full screen. It. Oh. You got yeah. it? I can find it. Okay. I'll let you take over then. Oh, okay. All right. Hang on. Because um, I'd like I'd like to give everybody, um, oh, I turned off my browser extension. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's go back to there. I'll go Get out of GG. Search and wait. There was a button way down there. I never even. Huh. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> I learn new things every day. Okay. Okay. So Wicked Tree Sorcerer is okay. There. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course I knew what his title. Okay. So you see how the icon has this little one in square brackets. So um, take note of that. Um, and then I'm going to show you. Why can I not get back to all of you to put that in the chat? Mm. I'll do it this way. Okay. But now that I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, now when you go to this help page, it really walks you through from the very beginning, like um, how, where to find it. You know, if you're uncomfortable, if you've never um, added a browser extension before, which I hadn't before, really before um, Wikitree, but it's, you know, it's like, I, I guess maybe people have experience with adding on ad blockers or that sort of thing. So this is similar. Um, Okay, let me go back now to screen sharing. And so if we go to um, my browser, you're going to see that I have up here that little one in brackets. And so that tells me that my Sorcerer mm -hmm. app is, is active. Um, now, let me go to Ancestry. So Julie, you would you would have to join Ancestry for maybe the sh maybe for a short period of time, you're not going to have to download everything to your computer. Um, let me go to my ancestry. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> it can get expensive. I know. Okay. Um, let's just go to a random profile, Cecil Cecilia Frolic. Okay, and here I have um, a bunch of censuses. Now I will say that with something like a census, if you can find the same record on family search, which does not have a paywall, that's preferable. Hmm. 
Um, and, and family search also, once you find the person and the record, it has a nice little button where um, it just says copy citation and then you oh, just- Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> just assuming, the, all right, say you, you cannot find this. So you're gonna go not to the action, not here, you're gonna go to view. And um, then I'm going to click on one. Okay, now are you seeing my pull down menu that I just got? Yeah. Good. Okay. So Sorcerer oh. is, is wonderful. Okay. So you can do yeah. searches. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's yeah. really. It oh, wow. Pretty much added oh, everybody at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is all the searching up here. Now, below the line, um, you can build an inline citation. Uh, you can build narrative, uh, you know, add to your bio with the citation. Um, we're just going to build a source citation. Okay, it works in under a second, and it's saved to the clipboard. Now, let me go. I, I'm not going to do anything permanent here, but um, I'll pretend that this is a source for this person. And then um, now I'm in. Pleasure edit saying how does I do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, notice I'm in edit mode now and we have the uh, the sources um, by the way if you're new let me just a word to the wise don't is it don't remove that oh okay mm -hmm. I know some people say well what's that for I don't need that but that's a little bit of wiki code that just helps the overall that's html we shouldn't yeah. mess with it yeah and oh then you'll see underneath that we have uh, all the sources that have an asterisk in front of them. The asterisk creates a bullet point. So since I have asked Sourcer to make me a, just a source citation, now when I paste in, there it is. <gasps> wow. Uh-huh, complete with the asterisk. Oh, now the I thing about that. the- the thing about the references tag is that that would be used for inline citations. So if something was being cited in the biography and it had a ref name, so it actually identified what it was, then you would see it pop up automatically in the sources section. These will show up in the sources section regardless because they're just typed in. So they have the asterisks and they're going to follow a, a line. They're going to go down the page like that. But anything that was inline citation would go before it because it follows basically that references tag. So if that makes any sense, that, that's also why that's there. Oh, I love that. So, um, and don't forget, when, if if we were saving this, um, I, I would say I'm adding a source. Um, and, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's nice for people who come after you, if you say added census record or added marriage record, or that can be helpful and, you know, only takes about 10 seconds. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the draft and return to the profile without saving. Um, and here again, you can see how, what was asterisks in the edit mode are these nice little bullet points. And Rebecca walked away for a second. So she would like you to review that first part again, where you're on Ancestry. Okay. So you just go yep. back and, and show her how to do that again. So from the Ancestry page, um, take any source and you're gonna just go to the, the index view and then click Sourcer, the, the little icon. And to actually um, build um, you know, I, I myself, I, I really, I tend to just use it for sourcing, but I maybe should, I mean, you can build a household table from a census. That's all those pop up. Yeah. Tables are hard to do by yourself. So that for they that are. to build a household table for you automatically, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Assuming that the page is okay with having a table on it. So yeah. Some pages, you know, some, some people are like, oh, don't put tables on profiles. And some people are like, yeah, you know, so it's, it just depends on who you talk to. Really? Wow. So, so if I were to do an inline citation, you just click on it, it gets saved to yeah, your board. Sure. And then now we can actually uh, show that references tag. Okay. All right. We'll do that. <laughs> um, I'll go back to, so an inline citation is when you, uh, let's show, let me show, show off. Uh, um, Abraham Lincoln. 
No, I just did this for my orphan trail. Okay. Uh, okay, John Chetwin, member of parliament. Um, and so you can see in his bio here, I state a fact and then I have a one. And oh, that, that's what they are. Oh. That's what an inline citation is. Yeah. Mm. Oh. You'll see that that one source is covering multiple facts. It so is. the one yeah. repeats wherever it's being cited multiple times, which in this case is being used six times. Right, right. And then here's a different one. Um, so, and it's really nice the way WikiTree is configured that you can just hover instead of yeah. having to go down. Mode. See, yeah. And there are- Now they automatically fill in behind sources and you can see the six that are citing uh, the Longman Green and Company book. Uh, and then after that, the manuscripts and so forth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, when I do an inline citation yeah. using Saucer, mm -hmm. I get a double ref. Well, let, let me show you. So remember, I I, uh, I asked it to make me an inline source citation. So let me go back to my, my great uncle <laughs> who we're, we're using as an example tonight. Um, so I will... I will save this and then unsave it. <laughs> okay, so say I wanted to use that source to back up that he was born in 1895. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, now the key, the key parts of any inline citation are this at the beginning, then you have all the other things, you know, the meat of it, and then you have this at the end. Okay, notice that they're identical, except for the one at the end has a backward slash. Forward slash. For, forward slash, sorry, thank you. Um, but the okay. key to my question yeah. is that I use the inline, inline citation mm -hmm. indicator on the menu. Oh, and you, I should... you, no, you can, you can, absolutely. That's, that's when I get the double ref. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. you should be able to edit it out. So if it does oh, double yeah. ref, yeah. You, you can just remove I one can, of the refs. I can, but the, yeah. the question is, why should I? I know, right? Well, actually, maybe maybe uh, we could look at that, Rolf. Um, if, you know, let, let me get out of this and then we can let well, you... Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me go back a minute. Mm -hmm. What you did, yeah. you didn't use the inline citation button. I Which to... would be this C. No, I did right. not. So right. you just pasted it in there. I think that's I, the key. I did. I think if you use the C, you get the double ref if you use saucer. Right. That's good okay. feedback. I'm sure okay. someone would like to know about that. So let me let me just get rid of this. Yeah. And let's just pretend that okay. So we're back to normal. Um supposing I want to um, put a citation, a source citation for his death. Um, then I click the source button. Now here again, you see I've got the ref at the beginning, the ref with the forward uh, slash at the end, and then huh. you just copy in. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to look. Yeah. Now copy it in. Well, if I copy it. it in, then I will have a double. Well, right. Yeah. If you're if you're pasting from what you just copied on Ancestry, yeah, right. <laughs> because it right. automatically has those refs for you here. It it assumes that nobody else is using something that already has refs built into it. Right. right. So right. so my answer is don't use the C if I'm using Saucer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They're two different uh, instruments. Probably, if you're going to type it in manually off of a piece of paper, mm -hmm. you would use yeah. that C. So it even if it wasn't correctly. like, even, even it was like saying personal communication with, you know, X person, right? That's text that could be put into the ref. So that text will float to the bottom as a source, even though it's not like all sourceified, like it looks like coming off of Ancestor or Family Search, right? So like anything can be considered a source if, if it's uh, helpful enough to define the information, oh. Does, if that makes sense. Yes. Uh, if, you know, so if, if I ask my dog use, what his name was. If you just use the search at the bottom right hand part of the screen, part of the yep. profile. Yep. And the go roots. in and do yep. research that way. Yep. And do it as an inline citation. You won't get the double ref. You have to use the C. Okay. I, I, um, 
I don't know that uh, that the root. I know what you're talking about with the root search. Let me get out and let's look at that. So print some background sound. Uh, right. Thank you. Um, so you're talking about this, right, Rolf? Right. Yes. So if I do that, okay. Now this is a nice feature because it automatically plugs in everything that you've already plugged Ooh. in. So you don't have to retype, you know, dates and locations. How did you get there? How, okay. Great question. Uh, uh, let's go back to tab. Yep. Okay. So from the profile, go yeah. all the way to the bottom and then under oh. read. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you can search uh, all of these. Um, fr frankly, I think um, at, at one point, this was fantastic. But if you, now with Sorcerer, <laughs> that goes even yeah, we're on. Starting to override <laughs> these older features. Uh, right. You may also have to be signed into Family Search before you can do a, a search into it uh, right. because it's finicky as to you know, your cookies have to be established for that site to be able to search it. Um, mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. It might log you out like every you know hour or two. So just in case people are maybe a little less comfortable with family search here, I'm on family search now. I, I picked a random person from my tree. Um, and so I am, I've gone to her sources. And then if you click on that, I'm going to get far more detail. And where you want to go is to the web page. Now, this is this is assuming um, you know that you're doing all the good genealogist things, like like looking at the original and and you know, but you've done all that and it looks good. You're convinced that this is the right source. And then look over here on the left, copy citation. Hmm. Then again, it goes to my clipboard. No, that won't have the refs built right. into it. That's just the text that you see. Right. So then if I want to go and use that, I go into edit. Then you can hit C. Then I can hit C and insert it. And there we that, go. Yep. And it would come up as a as an inline reference because I use the C button. Is there any preferred way of entering references that you found is less cumbersome, or do they all pretty much end up here? Um, well, um, I think um, having them in a big list at the bottom is certainly easiest when you're when you're a, a new to WikiTree. Okay, um, but at some point you're probably as you say develop a, a nice bio and you want to link the sources to things you're saying in the bio, that's when you're probably going to want to, to do inline citations. Um, and it's actually not that hard to convert if you just have a bunch of citations at the bottom and you, then you decide, okay, today's the day I'm going to do a bio. It's easy to just move them up into inline citations. Um, okay. Um, what other, what other, um, Rolf, did that help you with, um, yeah, that, that was key for me. I, I keep going in and having to edit out the second ref. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like you already have Sorcerer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yep, it's good. And again, these are all, this is a learning experience. I mean, we, we all goof. We all make mistakes from time to time. The great thing is the wiki is completely changeable. If you save something wrong, you go back in and you can edit it again. It is nothing is set in stone. Mm -hmm. So, although that last name of Grace is really starting to bug me now. Oh, <laughs> and we can change what? it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now, Melissa has a great question. Let's look at that. Okay. Melissa That's asked, more important. <laughs> well, no, believe me, I want to know about where that name came from, but I don't think we're going to crack that one. With no, 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 I was talking about Smeaton. It's under, it's undercased. Oh, oh yeah. What about Smeaton? What, I don't know. Are you profile manager of that profile? 
Um, I think I'm, nope. yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah. Just hovered over it, said it was Bob somebody else. Well, no, Bob not Norman, no, Grace. Oh, of Grace, yeah, Grace is, um, uh, yeah, Bob Whitaker is a fourth cousin of mine, so. Okay, uh, a friendly message to, to Bob maybe, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but uh, going back to the questions here, uh, Rebecca, right, or no? Uh, Melissa um, was wondering if it's possible to check connections between two people that aren't yourself oh, yeah. by name. Yes, okay. <laughs> we can display that too we, we can yep. go to that absolutely so um who who should, well let's stay with uncle norman okay so you do so when you're on a profile you are going to get a heading up here that is for the profile you're looking at now you do first have to do the connection to yourself but then you can come down here and uh steve what's your what's your id <laughs> i figured you were gonna ask uh my number is three six six seven okay i'm curious so now between my uncle norman and steve 24 <gasps> all right <laughs> but so the, you have the to eyes. have you have to have an id is that right yeah like what if i don't have an id you didn't you know you can't do it without the id oh okay. are you signed up to wiki tree yeah Okay, you have an ID. I have an ID, but that maybe the other person I don't have an ID for. Uh, if they exist as a profile, they should have an ID. So there's always a name and a number associated with the number it was uploaded in. Mm -hmm. Does everybody, okay. do you want us to do a search? Just do, would it help to go over how to search for a person? Oh, sure, or, yeah. 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 Um, well, so. Assuming well, they have a profile again. Yeah. Well, last night, let's see if I can recreate my my steps here. Um, I was looking for an American composer, um, Florence, maiden name Smith Price. And Smith, no. What? Smith, Smith, no. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm going to, I oh, don't no. use my memory. Give me five seconds to get the paper with the dates. I believe we have 250,000 Smiths on Wikitree, something to that uh, order. How about Joan? <laughs> and yeah. I married a Miller, and he was yeah. born in oh, Irish yeah. country. So yeah, yeah. Right. like most common in Germany is Miller or Mueller. <laughs> okay. yeah. All right. I so I raise. Oh, this brings up a question. Can I ask this question while it's still sure. on the screen? Sure, yeah. yeah no the problem. difference between the green ones versus the yellow ones. Okay, so that means like here's where the color changes, and mm. that means that it, there was a marriage. Wait a minute, okay. that means that he could be my cousin because there's only one change in color. Because yeah. most of uh, all the green would be direct lineage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then all of uh, well, when it changes is the wife, right? So then the yeah. wife is where the the changes to yellow, and then mm -hmm. it's following brother son 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 daughter daughter son daughter so it's a straight line like i know that marav uh, and uh actually abraham are direct ancestors of mine mm -hmm. so like they're sixth great grandparents fifth great grandparents etc mm -hmm. um so at some point in the past i think there's a common ancestor that's splitting off here well i mean the other thing we could do Might be that john uh, rose let's go back to uncle norman and now you can also look at relationship to me. And now, um, wait a minute. How can I do with you? No, you can get to it from the connection. Uh, keep going to the bottom. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. So then my name, all relationships. Okay. No, oh, but it's not a blood relationship. So there must be the marriage that's making the connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are a couple of common ancestors that are getting pretty close to one another. Mm -hmm. Mostly through the Ives, which I'm also connected to Burl Ives. I'm actually a cousin of Burl Ives. Hmm. Um, that's cool. Yeah, so, the green, that so the green ones are the direct i'm still a little confused well, uh, no just just consider it the change in color means that there's a marriage a marriage okay yeah. mm -hmm. uh go to alternative view generational path 
maybe this will display better. Uh, so when it loads, this might pop up on a new screen, but it can show the relationship through time. Did you click on it? I did. Why is it not working? I don't know. Uh, did it open up uh, in a new tab? Because there's a private person there. That's why that doesn't work. Oh. I oh. found that a few times too. And why doesn't it work? And it always was because there's. Sorry, my papa ruined it. So you can't look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. But you could try it with somebody else. It's not going to have a private yeah. chain. Yeah. So you could go uh, to Leo, mm -hmm. who was my second great grandfather, and if it worked there, uh, well, change it to three. Oh, actually, no. He's not even Greenwood because his birth name was Lane. <laughs> Wait, what's. Uh... Three six six nine. Go, yeah, you can go to my grandpa, and then maybe that'll work. So twenty two degrees away. Oh, there yeah. is. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so there are two jumps, at least two jumps that are happening here, between the eyes and the roses. Trying to make it visible all on one. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But yeah, that, now you can see a visual representation of what that chain is doing. And so my path is going back to the past of the 1600s. There's a couple of jumps over, and then it jumps forward in time again to reach uh, the McMurray's. Mm -hmm. And you're going through the Menzies and the Perkins and the Pieces. Yep. Oh. Yep. Interesting. So how far back has WikiTree made it? Uh, zero. Yeah. Really? Oh, we, have, we have a policy that there we don't do anything <gasps> earlier than that. But yeah, there are profiles. <gasps> and it's strict medieval genealogy, and that's there. There's a a lot of things that most people don't interact with. There's specialized profiles before 1500 are mostly worked on by like experts who have mm -hmm. focused their research in those areas. Uh, but mm -hmm. a lot of people are related to Charlemagne because he's the father of Europe. So you'll see him show up as a 24th great grandfather. <laughs> well, and speaking of Connectathon team, um, one of my favorite team names are the, uh, could we ask somebody to mute? Uh, have Thank you. Thank um, you. We, we have a team, uh, a team called the Musty Dusties. Mm -hmm. um, they 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 get through quite a few profiles, but n certainly not as many as the rest of us who are closer to the present, um, because they're they're working on these really really centuries old profiles. Admirable to do the connections. So. All right. So yeah, back there you go. Back There's the uh, connection feature. Yep. Uh, um, I also like the, uh, I, I did want to add to connections are great when you're dealing with categories because then you can go into a category of a whole bunch of people, like a cemetery, and then one click you can see who your cousins and ancestors are or how many degrees well, you're away from them. You know, that's a cool thing. We should show that. Um, yeah. So if I go back to, uh, to John Chetwind, um, you will notice that um, I put him in a number of categories, which are at the bottom. Um, All the way to the bottom. Yes, there we, there go. we go. There are his categories. So um, mostly um, linked to his service in Parliament, and there are very specific categories for for different uh, regions and um, and years. Uh, let's. And these are existing categories, or you yeah. made the categories? Uh, no, existing categories, and we can we can show how to uh, to do to do that. Um, so, well, let's just pick this one. Okay. So sure. this gives me a list of all the people in this category, including mm -hmm. my guy, John. <laughs> um, but what is fun is that if I go to the upper right-hand corner to my connections in any category, it will tell me who I'm connected to in that category. One is an ancestor. Now, maybe not really so useful for a category like members of parliament representing Staffordshire. But if it's the category is a cemetery, it could be very interesting to see your connection to people in that cemetery. Ooh. Yeah. Classy. Especially in small communities when a lot of people uh -huh. 
are related to one another. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll all pop up. <laughs> Small little tiny. Or, oh, yeah, look at this. Just... These these are fun. Uh, oh, yeah, presidents. Oh, yeah. Dirty barons, Mayflower passengers. I like presidents. Yeah. So here. Um, um, what are cousins. you President Kennedy? Yeah. So. Well, what, uh, was, what was her other question, Rebecca's question? Um, hmm. Well, I was going to show how to do a search for somebody. Uh, oh, what? Sarah left. Oh, I didn't even see it. Sorry. <laughs> Sarah sends her regards. She had to leave early. Oh, okay. That's too bad. Um, okay, living family demanding my attention. I understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, so let's look at how to do a search. So if I, now to do that, you want to just go to the general homepage and we're going to use my American composer, Florence Smith Price. Now, remember for women, um, she, her ID is going to be under uh, her maiden name, but um, let's go ahead and go. So was it Smith or was it Price? Price was her married name. Price was her married name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, but we could well. Let's see what happens if we do. Sorry, no matches. Okay. This is not seeing it as a single name. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Um. I would say try pry. Okay, we'll try Smith, Smith. because that's what's okay, and we have a. Rather horrifying, two thousand nine hundred and sixty minutes. <laughs> you wanted to do it. <laughs> yep. Now there's a cute little trick um, that that you can do if you know the person's middle name, mm. and, and I do. Her middle name is Beatrice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in um, Beatrice, Beatrice Smith. It would go into the first name field. Mm -hmm. in addition to the first name yeah you can see oh it. you're searching just beatrice I this, yeah and then i'm going to show this is cool this is a cool trick i learned from david randall okay 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 slightly better now what you can do is now i'm going to search by first name i'm going to alphabetize by first name and so it's going to like for instance here's a person where beatrice is the middle name first name ada they're all in alphabetical order for me. So if I go down to now, there are pages and pages. Uh, I think let's try page seven. Okay. Um, I'm still in the E's. Oh, Florence. Name? Florence. Okay. So it, uh, and I know her dates are 18. She was born in 1887. Oh, sure. Yeah. I oh, think okay. I see the right one. Yeah. Up. Oh, yep. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, um. So it, as you could see, it narrowed it down for me. I was wrong. Two hundred thousand Smiths are on WikiTree yeah. for oh, this yeah. number. But it, it, that little trick um was is really very mm. helpful um in controlling <laughs> your numbers. Yeah. Very okay. Hmm. Excellent. And also, she's a part of a Black Heritage Project as well, uh -huh. because you know she's a notable uh, in Black history. So that that is uh, another group of people who focus on profiles, predominantly you know more notables, but profiles of people of Black heritage, African American heritage. Right. right. And let's look, let's look at her categories, because um, I remember when she had some. She wasn't a member of parliament, so she had some more, more uh, interesting ones. Organists, uh, her cemetery where she's buried, very oh, close. Blue Island, Chicago. Yep. yep. Um, needs more sources. U.S. USBH notables needs more sources. Oh, pianist. Yeah, pianist, music teacher. Let's look pianist. Classical oh, composer. Classical composer. Oh, what yeah. you write? So... Um, There's many options, and and you can go through as many as you like. You know, make your place 
is there a place where you can find all these categories that you just showed here? Is there yeah. one place where you can find like the classical composers and uh, you mean to find the different uh, all those all those categories you had on the bottom? Yeah. Is there yeah. a listed source of all the available listed categories? Mm -hmm. So, well, category categories is the master category, which everything launches from. Yes. Um, How do you find that? Uh, we type like in. If I wanted to look at music, I, like I got many different categories. Category there. categories. <laughs> category categories. So um, now you can see that it's, yeah. these are these are the broadest levels. Like there's um, no music in there, or sorry, what are we? Just well, that doing? would be occupation. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Art, or it might be under society or art. Yeah, it's sometimes tricky to figure out where it starts at. And right. But the, you, you can see is. that it says the art subcategory includes seven subcategories of its own. Oh, okay. Um, One cemeteries, person. cemeteries is huge. Um, and uh, now maintenance categories; those oh, are wow. things like um, needs oh. more needs oh. merging. Needs a bio, um, needs sources. So, and those issues, once they're addressed, then the profile would be taken out of that category. Hmm. And like I mentioned earlier, you can have personal categories, which you can track yourself. And then when they're, when you're done with those, then they can exit your personal category. Mm -hmm. Like, see, if I've had a situation where I'd like to, uh, find different people for notable no what do you call it here sorry about the ter terminology no, notable people anyhow um and I, I couldn't find it on there for instance like uh you talk about uh, composers puccini and mm -hmm. vivaldi i couldn't find Pavarotti. you'd think well, Pavarotti would be in there but uh, and paul harvey and robert bateman uh okay. how do you how do you make suggestions for notable notable connections is that what you call it well, okay. So first of all, I, I went under I went under art. And so here I think performing arts mm -hmm. would be yeah. what you want. Mm -hmm. And then music. music. Right. Mm -hmm. And then um give me an one of your people that you're looking for. Puccini. Puccini. Or Vivaldi. Vivaldi or Puccini. Vivaldi. Oh. Musicians. I'd say it's just under musicians. Yeah. I thought there was a classical composer. Yeah, he was. It may be yeah. subcategorized under musicians. Yeah. And this probably needs some work too. Like like this could probably get clear. Yeah, and A, it said American composers. Mm -hmm. All right, there's composers there. And classical musicians. Interesting. Classical composers. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have to go down. Okay, I understand that. I'll look okay. into it a little further. But okay. if they're not in there, if they're not in WikiTree, like I searched and I didn't see some of these, uh, what I consider famous people, like I had a grand, most people are in there. I can't believe how many are actually in there. But uh -huh. the my grandson, he's getting into uh, martial arts. And he asked, I, I asked him, what three people would you like to me to search for? And he, mm -hmm. he mentioned one that was really well known in the oh, martial arts, and, and I couldn't find it. The other two I couldn't find. So. Well, you you got to add them in. How do you how do you go about oh, that? Okay, that's a great question. By the way, there's Vivaldi. Um, he is. Oh, okay. He is can you on click on project. it, and I can find out what uh, tag name Vivaldi three. Unbelievable. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so he was added back in 2014, so he's been around for a while. Okay, I just wasn't knowing the right tools to get in to find it. Okay. It's okay. Oh, is not connected. Oh, oh, project. Hey, maybe connect us on can change that. Yeah. Oh. That might be why it didn't show up. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> I got a person I'm going to admit you here. You see, the reason is because what I do is I use a notable connections between two IDs. Yeah. I've got, my problem is I come from an ancestry.com background. I got 41,000 entries in my in my ancestry.com. Today I tried to uh I downloaded the Jetcom for it and then I tried to upload it to WikiTree and it said your image is too large. So um uh, I think it's capped at 5,000 people. 5, so they have to get broken up. Uh, 
usually in those cases, I always recommend adding the profiles directly, but I know with as many that you mentioned, that's, that's a very arduous task. Impossible. Uh, <laughs> maybe someone, maybe someone can help you with the JetCom aspect of it. Yeah. Okay. But fair enough. You've answered my question. I'll just have to dig a little further. But that yeah. unconnected notable, maybe that's what I hadn't seen before. I hadn't looked at that unconnected notable up there. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. So in this oh. case, he's still searchable. He just isn't connected to the world tree yet. Right. Right. Now, if you go to the very bottom of that page, mm -hmm. uh, what, what I also had a question about was, no, you don't have it there. You see, you don't have it. Um, I have, I have another another question. Can you go to say like Robert Edward Lee? And okay. he is uh, Lee dash three ID. Oh, Lee three. Mm. Ooh, a three. Wow. Didn't even have to delete the three, but it did. <laughs> yeah, if you go to the very bottom of that page, uh -huh. my that question guy. would be, um, you see where where in each Wikipedia uh, wiki tree uh, connects. Yeah, this is about seventeen pages. I think it's quite a ways down there. <laughs> I've taken right. all of my forty thousand or most of them. I've taken them from Lee. I've always branched out from Lee to everyone that I've uh -huh. added to it. So uh -huh. at the very bottom of it there. Yeah, even go for right to the very bottom. Try not to make everyone seasick. Yeah, it's. Uh, Probably everyone is by now. Oh, okay. we okay, there we are. Okay. Now, okay. above above categories there, above that group oh. called categories, above it. Now, there, you see how Section it says, is 11 degrees from round, blah, 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 et cetera. Mm -hmm. I've got a way right now that in a spreadsheet, it's kind oh. of a oh, kind of an odd oh. situation. I take it from Ancestry to Wikitree. I got a buddy. Oh. Is there a way of getting the lowest degree of money people? Like I've seen contests saying, how can you find the quickest degree? Because oh, to me, look, when I add people in ancestry, in, I want to take the smallest uh, degree level. So mm -hmm. I I do it on a spreadsheet, and I can find it, and I compare it to everyone else I got. Cannot this be automated to the point where all those when they say eleven degrees from twelve degrees from, I've got many that show up a lot less than that that people would be more interested in. Is there a way they can automate that to make it a, a tighter fit rather than those ones they show? Well, these ones, I mean, I'm just going to click on the first one. Um, I mean, this is all calculated <clears throat> by an algorithm on on the Wikitree server yep. uh, based on what is on the tree. Um, so, you know, and you, you're saying that you're coming up with calculations that are based on your ancestry tree? Am I? I, I, uh, I it's very complicated the way I do it. I have to explain it offline, but basically okay. I, I use a wiki tree as in my spreadsheet. I use a wiki tree formula that takes two different IDs and gives me the degree. And I write that template and do it, et cetera. So I go through all of my lists that I got about 400 in this Excel list. And then I look at I automatically can find the the quickest relationship, which we were referring to down there. Yeah. And my point would be a lot of people want to know the quickest. I just shouldn't say quickest, the shortest mm -hmm. relationship. And to me, that would be more interesting because I found many, like even even this Lee, I found many that are much closer than than you know what's listed down there. So it's yeah. actually up at the top, I think is what you're after. Um are right you under his name. It'll say like twenty seven thousand connections. Um, yes, I think. So yeah, I, I think I I think I understand. This is Denise Jarrett, and mm -hmm. I I think I understand the question Joe is asking mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the the list of featured connections down below. At the very yeah. bottom. Yep. Yeah that that's just listing those that have been featured in this current week. They are not organized in order of lowest to highest okay thank you for answering that but to me it would be also a really cool thing for the, them to add a closest connections to yeah, ah, yeah. well we yeah. have a thing with the cc7 <laughs> you should be able to find the degrees away from robert e lee out seven degrees and who he's connected to yeah, I've seen that. That's quite a. That's a table that's pretty monstrous as you look. Well, at right. It. He has twenty five thousand plus connections. So yeah, that's I mean, all and, within seven degrees. And you're um, right too. Maybe if you look at how what those people will show up on, you would end up with so many that are totally irrelevant. I'm talking about 
major players, major key, key name players, like we just mentioned, Robbie Dealey, you know, well, not not celebrities, but yeah. chosen. I people. mean, Wiki Tree is not all inclusive. You may have to do your own research. Like, like I've gone out of my way to identify my notable cousins. It doesn't necessarily tell me instantaneously who all my notable cousins are, but yeah. I've gone through like those various categories to figure that yeah. out. And then I've sort of documented them in, in order of like, you know, closest to farthest away. Uh, so I don't think we, WikiTree will be able to do that because of how many people are involved. I mean, there's a million profiles of, of people who I are contributing you. to the project, yeah. right? So it's got to calculate all of those in addition to like the 35 million, you know, profiles altogether. Um, yeah. it, it probably would, you know, bog things down, I think, if it was doing that calculation. Yeah. But, you know, it does enough to give us the seven. I think the CC7 is still incredibly helpful uh, mm -hmm. if you want to see those relationships within the seven degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if they answer your question or not, but yeah, no, that's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and Denise, thanks for for hopping in. Yeah, thank you, Denise. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but there is also a way to control that connection finder feature. You can hit the X on a certain person to prevent it from going through them. So if you want to see the pathway through a different way, it will recalculate and show you that path. So there are, there are ways to modify that a little bit. That they're generally going to be longer connections, though, rather than shorter ones. Yeah. So it's it's doing its best to find the shortest. Mm -hmm. Well, um, let's see what uh, any final questions? Oh, is it time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like. I feel like there was something we were going to do. So we did a search. We we did a search. Yeah. And we went through the categories and we went through connections. Oh, oh. someone was asking um, how how was it was it you Joe who said your grandson uh, wanted you to look for a martial artist on Wikipedia? Yes. 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 Okay. So if you want to add a person, was it Bruce Lee? <laughs> you would just go on. <laughs> Bruce Lee's probably already there. Add. I think he is actually. Yeah. Yep. I wish I could get to my screen with the uh, Excel. Oh, hold on. I might be able to right here. Yeah. There. Uh, hold on. Uh, whether I wrote. No, I don't have it handy right now. But it was a, it was quite a famous person. He was number one in martial arts for two or three years. And uh, I thought hmm, he should be in there. And I did a search and mm -hmm. I couldn't find him there. But fair enough. So this is. Okay, go ahead. Explain what so, you're talking about. So you would you would add an unrelated person. So this is going to be, and of course, if you add in um, information and the system finds him, mm -hmm. then then there's no need to to carry through with this whole process. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, supposing this person doesn't exist at all on WikiTree, you would continue. And then the way I think of it is, it's just a leaf that's just floating next to the tree and work needs to be done to connect them hopefully sooner rather than later but for the moment they and maybe parents or a brother they they're just this little hanging floating twig yeah like vivaldi is a hanging leaf right yes. now just like floats. paul harvey can you can you see paul harvey he was at and now you know the rest of the story guy way back when, right? it's like i uh, thought yeah, this guy in. Well, I don't know. His Depends on how many Paul Harveys there are. <laughs> True. True. I'd, I'd be able to look up a Wikipedia and find out his exact birth and well, well I should do that right so now. This is, yeah, just give me a birth date. So the other thing with searches that I do all the time is to just order them by year, uh, birth year. And, that, and see uh, if there's a notables project attached to it, because that's usually a dead giveaway. There it is. Uh, Paul Harvey, Audrand Harvey, Tulsa. That's him? Yeah. Yeah, that's his picture. Yeah. That's it. Yep. No, All right. there it is. He's, He's unconnected. unconnected. That's oh, the same yeah. kind of thing I've been searching. That's... He's a floater. Yeah. Okay. Wow, another one. Uh -huh. he, has only, he has 10 connections, so any one of those 10 people could connect into the tree and more connections are made. So there's a chance, like, during Connectathon, he could get connected. Say that again. How would I go a little further? You say ten connections. Uh, so go to click on the ten connections. Oh, Betsy. okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So this is his CC7, but he doesn't really go out that far because all of them are within three degrees, right? Right. Uh, any one of these people could connect to somebody else on the wikis that this is where the connection would be made to bring him into the world tree. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that's kind yeah, of like true. Uh, going to ask a grave or the grave uh, questions to, to dig out who the real family was. Yeah. And, yeah. So whether it be that Sam Eisenberg or Hannah Gessinger, you know, there's some nice German names. Uh, I'd be interested in those, actually. Um, and yeah, you can see that there's nothing connected within seven. Yeah. It stops at the, the three degree mark. Yeah. yeah. That's something well, that's to perfect. consider for Wiki uh, Connect. Can you just leave it at the so, top there? I want to find that handle for the. Okay, Paul. Paul sure. it, it's uh, R Rant 4. R Rant 4. A U R A N. And that's another thing, too. His birth name is different than his stage name. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a lot of entertainers don't use their real names. That's why they're harder yeah. to find. Like Houdini and uh, Li yeah. Liberace. Yeah, and Eric Weiss. Movies. He wasn't Harry. He wasn't yeah. born Harry Houdini. Yep. Yeah. Right. But if that's I put right. if I put in an unrelated person to me mm -hmm. like that, yeah. um, but I know who their relatives are, can I then invite them basically to join WikiTree to connect to it? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So there's um, uh, a field when you're creating a profile um, underneath, you know, all the biographical things. There's if you say they're living and then it will ask you for an email address mm -hmm. and, and then they would be invited to join Wikitree. Now, okay. that process might change. We're doing that redo here in 2024. Yeah. Uh, so wait for more information if that changes on how to invite family members. Because mm. I wrote the currently. I wrote the biography for this guy and um, but his family is not on Wikitree. So and he's passed away since then. So I see. I see. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can. Um, let's see. Permission is always helpful for people who have yeah. passed away recently. Uh, people have been deceased for a long time. It's not as much of an issue with adding them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always ask permission. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, look, we found the guy. Uh, he yeah. wasn't even using Harvey as his last name. <laughs> and we, we found uh, a couple. We found Vivaldi too. We found we were we did well. Yeah. And if it doesn't exist, it can very shortly if you go ahead and be bold and uh, create the profile for it. You're right, because all you need to do is take some of those unconnected, like these uh, the, the degrees, and you're mm -hmm. right, maybe two or three will overlap, and bingo, there's a connection. Yeah, it could be that, that there's only one connection away from somebody else on a tree, and it just hasn't been made yet. You know, you might have to connect four people out. Who knows? You may have to go forward in time to find that connection. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the important thing is that you do the searches as accurately as possible to try to pull up those matches so that you're not creating duplicate profiles that have to get merged later. Mm -hmm. I mean, it happens, but you know, we, we, we try our best. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Melissa, Andrea is not on a wiki tree, uh, but you certainly can talk to her if you want. <laughs> <laughs> For a different person. I found her website. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they could be like, "Hey, I'm your long lost cousin." <laughs> Steve, I'm going to add Burl Lives to my list now. What's your your ID, Steve? Uh, mine again is Greenwood uh, three six six seven. Three six six seven. Excellent. Thank you. And, and Anne had her hand up too. No, no, that's just to. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, oh, Betsy, so. yours is K O thirty one. That is the K O dash thirty one. Awesome. <laughs> Yep. And she's also put them in the chat too. Yep. So um, now, is there a way that you can get in touch with people like like you, Stephen, through your ID number, or you, Betsy, through your ID number? Uh -huh. Is there a way you can send a personal email that's not a broadcast to everybody? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, let, me, let me show. Um, okay. So yep. if I go back to my profile. Um, and Let's say I was doing it. I'm not. In, I know you're. Right. K, K, you, yeah, and I want to. So go to my profile, yeah. and then under in in this box here, right next to my name, send private message. Oh, perfect. And that, okay. that will come to me as an email. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 
thank you so much. I've got to go right now. Thank you so much. I've learned so much. I've got to keep uh, keep coming into these awesome. sessions. Thank you. Thank Wonderful. you for attending today. Thank Thanks. you. Well, our next um, session is Sunday, uh, January 28th at 11. No, uh, yes, 11 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, which would be four in the afternoon UTC time. So um, please come back. You, you don't have to be strictly, we use the definition of new very, very loosely. And uh, we, ju we just love hanging out and uh, chatting about how to, how to figure things out on Wikitree. We're all learning. And thanks again, for everyone, for attending tonight. Good night, everyone. And thank you to those who are watching the recording. <laughs>